In this video, we're going to look at how we can mark email as spam in Spark. We're going to look at this on the Mac, iPad, and iPhone. Let's first look at this on my Mac. So I'm looking at Spark here, and to mark an email as spam, all you need to do is just select the email. Let's go over to this Twitter email here. Let's just say that was spam. It's not, but I'm just going to say that it is spam. All you have to do is just select it. So I have it selected here. And then you just go up to the three dots here. And what you're going to see is mark as spam. When you do that, you're telling your service. In my case here, what I'm doing is I'm telling my .Mac or iCloud, or if I'm using Gmail, I'm telling Gmail that this email is spam. And the goal is, is if you do this two or three times, hopefully what will happen is you will not get any more. Sometimes you have to do this two or three times to really let your email service know that it is spam. So you just go over and select this as mark as spam. And then the email will disappear from your list here. If it comes back again, you just mark it as spam again. You might have to do it two or three times. And then hopefully what will happen is you will no longer get that email. You can also use swipe features or swipes to mark it as spam. So if I go and swipe over to the left, you're going to see it says pin. I swipe to the right, read. If you have a lot of spam, what you can do is change that swipe to mark it as spam. To do that, we go up to spark in the menu bar, and then we go over to preferences. Under preferences, what we need to do is go over to our general tab, and then we go over to swipe actions. Under swipe actions, you're going to see that we have all of our different swipe actions. So from here, we just select which swipe action we want to use. Is it going to be a left short swipe or a left long swipe? We also have right short swipe and right long swipe. All I do is just select which one I want, and then I go over to the right here, and I select move to spam. When I do that, now, if I do a right long swipe, so I'm going to do a right long swipe, I go all the way to the end, you're going to see, whoops, let's try it again there. I go all the way to the end, you're going to see it says spam. So if I were to continue, I'd mark that email as spam. Let's see what this looks like on the iPad. In order to mark an email on the iPad, what we need to do is long press on it. So what I do is I go over to my email here, let's say I wanted to mark this as spam. Instead of going down to the three dots here in the lower right hand corner, what I need to do is I just need to long press on it. So I'm going to long press on it. And then you're going to see mark as spam. So instead of going to the three dots, we long press. We can also customize our swipes. You're going to see I have my same swipe features here. And being that I changed it on my Mac, it did sync, and now you can see it says spam on my iPad. To change it back or to change it to something else, maybe you want to change a different swipe to it, what you do is you go up to the three lines in the upper left-hand corner, and then you go down to settings. And then from here, what we need to do is go to swipes, and under swipes, what I'm able to do is change what that swipe does. You're going to see it's set to move to spam. On the iPhone, it works similar to the iPad. Basically, what I need to do is I need to long press on an email. So I long press on it. And then you're going to see mark as spam. And again, if I want to customize that or change the swipe, what I can do is go to the three lines in the upper left hand corner. I go to settings at the very bottom. And then you're going to see swipes. And I can customize any of these swipes for move to the spam folder. Again, what you'll want to do is maybe do that two or three times with an email. Like I've been getting a lot of emails from McAfee, like my subscription has expired from McAfee. I don't use McAfee, but I keep getting these emails. It's spam. So what you'll do is mark it as spam. You'll probably get that email two or three more times. And then hopefully what will happen is your email service will then see that and it'll prevent that email from coming back to your inbox. So that's how we mark email as spam with Spark on the Mac, iPad, and iPhone.